Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Dominic Mysterio, The Judgment Day. So Dom is the weekend poster for Boss Battle. Uh, you guys have the trial for him. This is the preview for him at 6 star. I will be going against a 6 star opponent. Um, he is a modern era defensive trickster. Also of note, he will be the best defensive option for this boss battle uh, this weekend by far. He has the Judgment Day link. Blue moves start with eight more move points. Raw, any color moves start with one more. And Modern Era gems do 5% more damage. And then the stock Judgment Day gear. He's a trainer. At uh, six star, blue gems do 40% more damage. And blue moves start with two more MP. Uh, this would be useful on somebody like Hall of Fame Taker, for example, where he makes all those blue gems into blast gems and you need eight MP to start. So this would be a very good trainer on like Hall of Fame Taker, for example. You'd get an extra 40% gem damage on that. Um, so yeah, not bad. Uh, I, other, I'm sure there's others. He's just the one that comes to mind right away. Okay, um, five builds for you guys. Um, so strap in. This is the triple yellow. Honestly, I was expecting this one to be amazing. <clears throat> it's not, doesn't hit as hard as I would like. So Frog Splash, 6 MP, deal 117k damage and decrease your Juggernaut gem turns by three. Effects from these turns will be triggered. If, if it is less than three turns are left, their final effect will also be triggered. It basically makes this Juggernaut gem go off completely in order. Uh, 6 MP, 619, deal 81k damage, choose two gems to make into three turn Juggernaut gems. That will make seven random gems into leech gems on every countdown turn. Make 20 leeches into yellow at the end of the countdown. So you're getting 40 leeches into yellow and you're generating uh, 28 leeches there. And then choosing two columns gives you another 14 um, leech gems on your board. The corner clothesline. 6 MP, deal 122k damage, choose two columns to make into leech gems of strength 26,800. The leech strength is a little low, um, so he, that's why he doesn't hit as hard as he probably could. Uh, this set would be, if we ever have a leech focused boss battle though, uh, would be ridiculously good for that. Um, so there is that. Entourage, we're going with yellow Kofi to start, and then all of the leech guys. Uh, Veer could do 150%. Um, if he was 6 star, Seth has 25% and Theory is 100%. So that's 225% leech gem damage. And you're going to, I thought this was going to hit much harder than it does. Uh, so the extra 50% you could get, probably not a big deal. Let's take a look at the strap real quick. Um, all heart plate for the whole preview. Whenever you do a sub, your green and purple gems increase by 100% for two turns. You'll see where that comes in. It doesn't here. I'm going to keep that on. And then um, gem damage, I have 106% basically across the board for gem damage. This metal, obviously, if it was yellow, um, percentage would be good for this build. You're going to see a build where blue percentage would be good as well um, if those metals were on the 200 percenters. So I'll talk about them as we get there. Uh, I think those are the big things. Uh, let's get out here and go against 6-star Zombie Steamboat. Hopefully I don't get dodged. Um, but it's probably going to happen. I will turn the um, speed down to 1.25 as well. Okay, this is really, really simple. Uh, go ahead and pick two columns to, to turn into yellow. Um, I'm going to take these. They have a bunch of yellow on there already. Why not? Or into leeches, I'm sorry. And it doesn't say anywhere how strong the leech gems are um, on the juggernauts. This move, it says they're 26,800. And the juggernaut, it just doesn't say. So I, I think they're about the same looking at the gems when they break, but it's hard to tell. Uh, so the yellow gems are going to do 55k each, even with that all of that leech gem damage. So it's not as crazy as it could be. Anyway, that's a lot of talking, but this move set goes fast. Uh, then you just put these down. I think the corner is probably the best. I don't really know. Uh, and then you hit this and watch the fireworks happen. That's literally all you do here. And it's going to make the juggernaut gems go off and the whole board turn yellow. 
There's the yellow, the leech gems, the blow up the board, and 3.65 million. That's just not... I mean, it's going to take probably three cycles. We'll see how long it takes me. But most of the time, you're probably looking at three cycles. With that kind of damage. The nice thing is, it is very easy to move or use. Um, and you heal yourself as well. Uh, so if you stayed away from a sub guy, you would be fine. And like I said, if there's ever a leech boss battle, he'd be very good for that. Obviously, breaking a yellow shield, he'd be very good for that. But very straightforward with this moveset. And we popped for 3.56 mil that time. And I don't think this steamboat has um, metals, but he's the only six star I could find right now. Because we're not seeing a reduction on that, so I'll double check that. Oh, he does have metals. Interesting, but we're not seeing the gem defense reduction. We should. Eh, yeah, whatever. And obviously, <clears throat> well, not obviously, but this one should do it. Um, I can't see him being able to kick out because we're beneath the threshold of the percentages here, so. But it's recycles flawlessly, really easy to use. It would be great for boss battle. If we ever get a plate that buffs uh, leech gem damage uh, after you make leech gems or something, that could be interesting as well. Or, you know, make leech gems buff yellow um, gem damage, that sort of thing. Could be interesting. So that's that moveset. That's probably the worst one. Actually, no, this is the worst one. A lot of people were excited about triple purple, and uh, it really doesn't scale great. And I'll show you what I mean here. After this, we'll get into the one, two, three really good movesets. Bringing all three purples in, three amigos, tornado DDT, and uh, the crossbody. I'm going to put them in the right order, though. They are 10 MP, 7 and 7 MP, respectively. All purple. Three amigos. Finisher, deal 179k damage, make 28 traps into purple. Crossbody, uh, deal 122k damage, plus 23k bonus damage for every trap gem. Not the highest trap gem bonus. And then Tornado DDT, deal 148k damage, make 20 random gems into traps. If broken by your opponent, deal 59k damage, increase your blue MP by 5. If broken by you, deal 44,000 damage and deal 58,000 bleed damage to your opponent for two turns. So each trap uh, broken by you, you're going to get um, almost 100k in damage. <clears throat> I'm sorry, 44k in damage, plus about, what, 116 in bleed damage. Um, if Woods worked, obviously that would be much better. Woods doesn't work, so don't use him. Um, Entourage for this one, we are going to go... So this cannot start loaded turn one in Feud. That's the other reason I don't like this. It's a 10 charge. Um, there's no way you can start it loaded turn one in Feud unless you have, like, a line bonus. So... Plus, if you were using dual MP trainers, then you couldn't use Dakota, who buffs the crossbody. Uh, so I think that'll show the flaws with this build set. Obviously, it recycles fine, and this would be the build for boss battle and would be very, very good for boss battle. Um, Santa Hogan doesn't need to be on there. He's the Steamboat is who you'd want to use if you had him. I'm just using Santa for purple gem damage, um, since most people have him, and um, for the flat purple. And then um, percentage would be better if you have it. And then we're going to use Lacey <clears throat> as soon as I select the right thing here for 20% purple gem damage. Uh, Steamboat, obviously, again, would be better than where Hogan is. But this would be what you would use this weekend for boss battle, for sure. Uh, not the exact trainers, obviously. In place of Woods, you would want uh, Purple Matchy Match, which is Hall of Fame Dusty. And the starting board. All right, let's get in here with this one.
And then I would put um, Steamboat. And also I would use my purple... I would use NW Hogan where uh, Santa Hogan is. So Acro Steamboat, Hollywood, Dakota, and Dusty would be the ideal setup. Although a lot of people can't do that, including myself. Um, <clears throat> so this one... You're not going to get your purple back, so no reason to throw the traps right now. I'm going to wait for turn two for the finisher, so play defensively. What do we really not want him to get? Uh, probably the Dragon's Descent. That's Botch Gems, not too worried. Let, we'll let him take blue, we'll take the red. Uh, in Feud, you would need a purple match to load it there, though, so it wouldn't be loaded on this turn where this Feud. But I don't like this. Um, of course, he got a wild card, why not? <clears throat> it's fine. Although I don't think we're going to win turn one. I think this is a two-cycle build. Anyway, here we go. Uh, so trap gems, 22 of them are going to go out. And then we're going to hit this. I want to say it was doing around 800k is all. Yeah, 785k. So this move is really, a lot of people were thinking this was going to be crazy. Uh, not so much, but it will be great for this boss battle. So I don't like this moveset at all for anything other than boss. And the three amigo animation, a little bit slow. So those are things to be aware of. Alright. So two million damage. Then we're going to get a little bit of bleed out of it. Uh, about two million more in bleed. Um, very likely we win this turn. So, yeah, with Acro Steamboat, this would likely be a two-cycle build, uh, but nothing to slow them down. If we ever get Generate Trap Gems, Drain MP, uh, then you could consider this moveset, right? <clears throat> Which is entirely possible. I could see a ultimate plate like that at some point. There's another, like I said, only 789k. That will be buffed 60 times for boss battle, and then changing all these traps to purple um, is double bonus. We're not going to keep him down this time either. So it's a three cycler. So yeah, you see, you see what I mean why I just don't really care for this build too much, other than boss battle. So he does have very nice boss battle utility, yellows, purples, leech gems, trap gems, right? That's already a lot of stuff, and we're only on build 2. That's a lot of stuff you can cover for boss, so I do really like his utility there, especially as a defensive guy. Okay, Steamboat, calm down. We we see you. Alright, anytime now. 2.2 million after all that nonsense. And this will wrap it up. Although, uh, to be fair, I do love the move animation um, on the three amigos. But, like, boss speed, it's going to feel really slow uh, anyway, but... Because we were just watching in 1.25. But this is the full animation speed. I mean, it looks awesome, though. But, you know, you don't want to see all of that for boss battle. And this should easily do it. Alright. Now we get to the fun stuff. This is if you wanted to run a super subset. Uh, gonna see two variations of this one. <coughs> Excuse me, still recovering from the COVIDs. Got the Rona. Um, so this one is okay. Um, it's if you wanted to have a longer sub. So let's get these in. Uh, you haven't seen the running drop kick Or the single leg Boston Crab yet. And of course we're going to keep the trap gems. Sub will load the trap gems. Alright, so running drop kick, 2 MP, deal 500k damage and force your opponent to tag. Do not use in single matches, so we're just using this for the move damage. Obviously with a 200% metal, 
um, you'd be doing like 1.5 million with this one. So you would want to run a 200% metal. That would give you a bigger chunk of damage for sure. Single leg Boston Crab, 6 MP. Choose 9 gems to make into purple sub gems. Do 181k for 4 turns. That's a long, beefy sub. So we're going to index that this first time around. And the second time, if you have a 17k Santa, you're going to see a build I like more than this one. Uh, this one, you don't need 17k Santa, though. So that's the benefit here, if you're wondering. Uh, plus, you know, super sub, so. And uh, submission. I'm going to use Eddie for three more turns. And then we're going to use Sheldon for 20% more. And then Roman for 50% more and one more turn. So by the time we're done, we're doing 309k for eight turns. That's a 2.4 million sub uh, with no buff. Uh, so that's pretty substantial. So if you were doing the sub and you had a 200% move damage metal, um, that's going to put you at uh, 1.5 million and what was that? 3.2 did I say? Um, let me look. Yeah, anyway, that would be like 4.7 million a cycle. And that's without the trap gems, uh, which are going to come into play too. So pretty, pretty solid. 2.4 and 1.5. So 3.9. It should be a two cycle win. We'll see. It's a full drain. Uh, might not be two cycle because I don't have the move damage metal. One thing too, the first time around, if you can, what you want to do is use the choose to also reload the blue. So like three, four, five. That'll do that. And we're going to take three here and get the blue match there. That would reload it in feud. Might as well make the row break just for funsies. Um, and then let's go one here and one here. Also keep in mind, now after the sub, your purple gems are buffed. Um, by 100% more gem damage, so. You can see, it's a pretty chonky sub, right? Also, that's gonna drain everybody. And we'd be doing like a million more damage on this move each time so that'd be like two million more off of me be down to like seven seven million there with the move metal and now the traps are going to be on the board and now it gets really dirty because the when he breaks the traps it fills us and does damage when we break the traps uh he bleeds <clears throat> and as you know if it bleeds we can kill it so row break there um why not uh, I also want to leave the traps if possible, so, um, or as much as possible, but, you know, whatever. That breaks one, and then I'll just leave a few for fun. Stay off of your traps, though, because it changes them away from traps. So the blue moves are refilled, and now he's killing himself while he's breaking the traps and the subs ticking down maybe three cycle I guess this way very control based and this this turn will easily do it we'll have a lot of fun here we're gonna have a bunch of traps Let's just, let's just do a bunch of nonsense here. And then let's just leave one. He's not in danger of getting a move. He escaped. He escaped. Oh no. I'm just messing around, having fun. Also, when you're kicking out... You can break your traps, then you're bleeding him, stacking the bleed. And then he dodges your traps, and you're a sad panda if your name is Merix. Alright, I won't screw around this time. I'll just finish it off. I shouldn't play with my food.
Anyway, it won't be super fast, um, but it's very control, and it won't be everybody's flavor, but it is different. I don't mind this one. Not as fast as I would like, obviously. So, okay, I, I was like, all right, what can we do to make this faster, better, um, etc. if you have 17k Santa? Same build set, we're just changing the trainers. I'm going to keep Roman on there, and the reason is uh, I actually really like a four-turn drain. Much less likely they stay loaded. Uh, three, sometimes they have the matchy-match uh, plate, and they get loaded coming out of the sub. It's really annoying, actually. So I think I might run Roman for four turns because the last coach, you know, you kind of have some options here. Uh, it's breakfast. You do need 17k Santa to feud this. Mm, so keep that in mind for this build. Or some kind of line bonus. So we're going to run it like this. Uh, what this does is it allows us to start with the traps on the board. Right. Again, keep in mind the 200% move damage metal would really beef this up. Um, you could put blue move damage in some of those places, like uh, Trickster Becky, for example. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I think I'd rather have the one extra turn on the sub. It's, it's five turns, so that's pretty, pretty drainy. I think I said it was four. It's five with Roman. Laysai, I want to show if this is a two-turn thing, and of course, what does he do? He, he, he dodges. Thank you, dodge. I love you. Whatever. Triggered. Triggered. Dodge is rage-inducing. Like, I'll get started with the trap downs right away, and then we can do a bunch of damage right from the start. Nope. No, sir. This is... I love it when the purple set up like this. This is what I wasn't getting last time at all. That makes it really, really nice. Um, so you can break like a lot of a lot of stuff. Uh, let's leave. I should probably leave two gems though, and not get like crazy greedy um, and screw it up. So let's do there and you know what? I'm gonna be greedy. I lied. When you break a lot of traps, the bleed uh, really starts stacking up, right? You can see we're just like big old chunks of damage this way. Also buffing the purple gems. You may have noticed the gem damage was not bad at all. So he's super control, so I guess defensive really fits him. Probably gonna have a hard time losing with this build. Um, unless you really, really try. And let's go how and hyo and hyo. One more turn. did it okay final move set this is my favorite 
again, I'm going with Roman. Um, I don't know if I would stay that way for sure. Maybe go purple finisher, but honestly, I like the a five turn drain in feud. I feel like I'm rarely going to get hit in the face, and I think this is probably going to be a two cycle win. Obviously, you would want a purple move damage for this one using the three amigos. Um, also, Judgment Day Link for Showdown starts with blue, so you could use this for Showdown uh, with the JD Link. Right here. Um, you've seen all the moves, so there's nothing to talk about there. We'll just get out here and run it. And this is what the plate is really on for, to buff all the purple gems you're making after the sub. Uh, and we kind of want to have some purple gems on the board, uh, if possible, you know. No guarantee you I don't make matches and stuff. You guys know how that goes. Uh, or he makes matches, rather. That seems like a bad... Sp oh, well, who cares? You know what? I don't care. No one's got time to place them perfectly. Especially considering that's going to happen anyway. Alright. So, trap gems. Into the finisher. Looks like we have some okay connections for purple here. We might get a decent hit. Yeah, that was pretty solid. 1.6 and then we're doing some bleed. You can see he filled the sub up by breaking the traps. So that was about a 4 million cycle there. This one should end up... Um, see, also made a mistake here second time around uh, because that was loaded. I should have put the traps down, right? Um, so I'm going to play this one one more time because the traps down would be a big deal because we'd be doing a bunch more damage um, during this sub, right? So that was a misplay. And, and I want to run it one more time anyway because I do think it's probably usually uh, a two-cycle win. And we might still get it anyway even with the misplay. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to get it, I think. Like I said, I really like this moveset. This one, I can't see, really, uh, unless it's like a one, somebody that can one-shot you uh, with one MP moves. You shouldn't struggle with anyone. That one's very nice finisher. 2.72, and then we're going to bleed him basically all the way out. So yeah, that was a two-cycle win even with the misplay. And just for fun, I'm going to play it once more. This is my favorite moveset. Um, if Woods ever works, Showboat Woods, King Woods, he would go in where Roman is for sure. Um, you could potentially use Steamboat on there too instead of Lacey. I think Lacey's good. I do like the all-heart skill plate uh, for this one just because it buffs the purple gems a little bit more as you're, you're going. Um, so that seem, those all seem like good things, right? One more time. I'll crank it up to two times speed for this one. It's been a long preview, but he's really actually kind of fun. I like him. I don't know how... Well, we'll get to that after this. Alright. Two, three matches. Alright, there, there, there. Let's do something like that. Trappy trappies. This looks like a very nice trap spread. Let's see how it works out, but it looks good from here. 
All right, 1.8, get some bleed going. The second one now, oh, wild card for that. Where it gets spicy. Because we can have the traps out with the sub and then we can hit the trap again. So actually something um, just occurred to me that I really didn't think about. Instead of using Dakota, um, I'm going to run one more build, actually. Why did I not think of this earlier? A lot of purples on the board here. Uh, I just need... Really, I, I just don't need any of them. Picking out's fine. We're not concerned. So this is definitely a two-cycle win. So this version, you can run with 17k Santa and Woods, just like we did for the other one, and start with the traps uh, if you want to. That seems like a no-brainer two-cycle win as well, so I'm going to throw those on real quick. Um, yeah, if you have 17k Santa. So one more. On the fly, adding one more thing. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on. Recharge Woods. Am Santa Hogan. So this would be turn one in feud. Uh, so, yes, this one. As well, and this would start with the traps, just like we did for the other build. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <clears throat> Probably because I did I practiced this move set first. This was the first one that I wanted to run. So that's probably why. But yeah, then you can start this way in feud if you have 17k Santa. And this is obviously much better. And then if they're not charged after this, you can skip the sub the second time around too if you want. Um, if their moves aren't charged. Which I will show you what I mean. So let's say your opponent's moves aren't charged like this. You can just throw the traps again and hold off on the sub. Even though it buffs your purple gems, if you think you can take them out. Uh, and I think we probably can here. That'll save you some time on the sub. So there you go. <clears throat> uh, that is Judgment Day Dom. Judgment Day Link would make him a very good trickster with the blues. This move set for Showdown. A few D's on the slow side, but very control. I don't see losing too much. Uh, boss battle, I find that he probably is pretty versatile for boss battle. Purples, traps, yellows, leeches, so I like that. Um, as far as tricksters on my roster, you guys know how I feel about a couple tricksters. Oops, that's the wrong way to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ba -da -bum -ba, class. I think trickster's more to the bottom. Wrong way. Uh, and then who am I missing for tricksters? I don't have priest. Um, I should have looked at that first. I don't have priest. Who else do I not have? No Cena, no Ghostbuster Hogan. Um, I think Ghostbuster Hogan's better, right? Uh, I think Umaga's better. Uh, priest, I don't know if he's any better. Uh, I think Priest is similar kind of boat, uh, maybe. I don't really remember, to be perfectly honest. Um, so, uh, he's definitely faster than Hall of Fame Nash. Uh, I think Steamboat's better. Zombie Steamboat, probably. 
Uh, theory, I don't really know. Um, I feel like theory you're gonna take some hits with. Definitely better than Mem. Um, Kali can be random. So, Andy's got a pretty solid uh, training ability, even if there's no one I would use it on right off, except for Hall of Fame Taker, it's really good on. Um, yeah, I think I'd be inclined to take him six star, mainly for his defensive utility uh, and what he brings there. Um, he's certainly no Corbin. Hollywood's a, the one of the best coaches there is. Um, so yeah, I think I'd probably be inclined to take him six star, but I don't think he's like the most amazing. But he does have some good utility, good versatility. So I think he's a solid addition across the board. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as it really helps me out. Hope you enjoyed this preview, guys. Thanks for watching, and good luck out there.